Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to give you guys some battery saving tips and teach you how to improve your battery life with your jailbroken device on iOS 7 through 7.0.4. Now this is a question that I am frequently asked, and there are a lot of things that you can do to actually improve your device's battery life. And in order to get started, I'm gonna bring over my iPhone 5S and we're going to go over the basics. Now there are three things that really affect your battery life. The first one is display brightness. Now I have mine up all the way right now just for the purpose of this video, but normally I keep it below half as often as I possibly can. The second one is location services, which I always keep off unless I'm using it with something like Siri, Google Maps, or Apple Maps. And the third thing that really affects battery life are notifications. So I tend to disable all notifications for apps that aren't absolutely essential. So I only have the bare minimum number of applications allowed through my notification center. As you can see here, I just have a few. So the three things you can do right now to start putting battery life back into your device is to keep the brightness down as low as you can possibly stand it, to turn off location services when you're not using apps that actually utilize it, and to disable almost all notifications for apps. A lot of times when you install apps, even if you don't give them permission, they will still show up in notifications. They might not show up in notification center as banners up at the top or even alerts, but they might show up with badges. As you can see here inside of the notification settings for the messages app, in addition to banners, you also have badge app icons, you have your alert sounds, you have the option to show in notification center and to show on the lock screen. Now a lot of apps will have some of the less aggressive notifications turned on by default once you install them again, like I had mentioned before, such as badge app icon, in addition to the lock screen option. So disable those and get them completely out of notification center when you get the chance. Now beyond that, there are some extra measures that you can take to preserving your device's battery life. Now when you're not connected to a Wi-Fi network, I highly recommend disabling Wi-Fi. The same thing goes when you're in a low reception area. If you don't have data connectivity, definitely disable that when you can, and also turn on airplane mode if possible, because if you have an iPhone when its reception gets low it starts to put more power into its radio antennas to search for a signal so keep that in mind and disable it when you can the same thing goes for Bluetooth if you're not using it disable it that basically goes for everything also if you have yet to do so disable background and that useful because when you open the applications they will just fetch the data that way Another thing to keep in mind is close out of all applications when you can. So I'm using a tweak right now, a jailbreak tweak. I detailed it in one of my recent top tweaks videos. I highly recommend checking that out. And also if you're interested in getting the option to disable location services and to also manage your data connection, inside of Control Center, I highly recommend watching my first Top Tweaks video because I detail a solution that lets you do just that. So those are some very easy and simple measures that you can take. Now I'm going to open up Cydia and discuss another app that you can get from Cydia that allows you to better manage your battery. Now again, I am opening Cydia up here and just go to the search tab at the bottom and search for battery life, all one word, and then install it. Once you have it installed, you can open it and Battery Life gives you a ton of useful information. I'm not really going to detail it all, but as you can see at the top, it gives you your current charge state. It also gives you your battery capacity or battery health. It determines it based off of a number of different statistics. It tells you what voltage your phone CPU is running at. It tells you how many charge cycles you have. So as you can see, I only have four, and that's because this is a brand new iPhone 5S replacement. One of the main things that it lists though is the decharge current down below at the bottom. This tells you how quick your device is actually dying. So you can monitor how much battery life you're actually saving. Just to give you guys a quick test here, as you can see down below at the bottom, it says my discharge current is at negative 243 milliamps. So once I turn down the brightness, it will go down. Now I'm going to close out of battery life here, and I'm also going to bring the brightness down. I'm going to try to bring it down to where you can still see it on the camera here, and open battery life back. Back up. Now it will take a second to adjust, so I'm just going to leave the phone up on the display here while it gets the new discharge current. 
So as you can see, now it dropped all the way down to negative 88 milliamps. So this is key, this is important. One of the main things, again, is your display brightness, along with notifications and location services. There's also another tweak that I detailed in one of my recent videos. It's called Disable Parallax Effect. It disables the effect that utilizes the gyroscope in your device that essentially shifts the background when you move your device in the corresponding direction. Now, this, of course, consumes battery life, and there is a setting that essentially allows you to minimize the effects inside of accessibility in the settings app. However, that doesn't completely disable parallax. This does, this will also slightly improve your battery life. Once you have it installed, there aren't any settings, it just works. If you want parallax effect back, just open Cydia and then uninstall it. It's that simple. Back to my iPhone 5S here though, to wrap things up, I'm going to open Cydia and we're going to discuss another thing that also plays into your battery life on a jailbroken device. Now I'm going to go to the manage section at the bottom and packages. Now, some packages you install will have a severe negative effect on your battery life. You will need to uninstall these packages. I'm not going to go over all of the tweaks, extensions, modifications that have a negative effect on your battery life, but essentially the ones that utilize an active internet connection or that are open in the background frequently will need to be uninstalled. So you can go through them and you can try to get your list of installed tweaks down to as few as you possibly can. Again, this will also help with your battery life. The ones that I have installed though are definitely approved and work just fine. That's another thing too, if you're looking for some awesome tweaks that don't necessarily impact your battery life too much, then again, I recommend checking out my channel and watching some of my recent top tweaks videos. Again, I'll have links to those on the screen now via annotations. If you're on the desktop version of YouTube, you can also find them by visiting my channel. And if you witnessed any tweaks in this video that you want on your device that I didn't detail, again, you will be able to find them there. All right, so I hope you guys like this video. Again, just giving you some tips on how to extend the usage of your device. Now, there are some other things that you can do, but what I detailed in today's video are the exact measures that I take to use my device for longer periods of time. And if you guys have any other suggestions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Of course, if you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comments have been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And of course, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new general videos and jailbreak videos, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.